All set. Welcome everybody to Brockton High Basketball. I'm Miles Jackson bringing you all the action. I apologize for coming here in the second quarter, but I guess everything was pushed up. But we got the boxes down by three points going up against Quincy High. So it should be a good one on this holiday uh, week here at Staff Gymnasium on beautiful Brockton High campus. So we got the Brockton High girls in, in their home white, and Quincy is in their visiting blue outfits. And Quincy will take the ball out from half court to begin this second quarter. Again, Quincy's up 16 to 13. Brockton in a three point deficit early in this first half. Cross court pass back out top. Long three is no good. Quincy gets a rebound. Shot is missed. And here come the boxers. That's Williams with the ball. Gives it to her sister. She brings it back out top. In the corner. And they're going to call traveling on Jayla Smith, the senior. Side. And the shot is blocked. Back out top three point shot is attempted, is no good. Tannis for the rebound. Here come the Lady Boxes. Alexandra inside the Tannis, and she's going to be fouled by number 31 for Quincy. So Tannis will go to the free throw line, I believe. Now they're going to take it out underneath. So Williams will inbound the ball. Can't find anybody. Finally, out there is stolen by Quincy. They bring it down quickly. That was not a good pass. Long bomb is no good. Went to Williams. Williams in, in the red, drives. Shot is missed. Nice attempt, but no good. Back comes Quincy. And it's out on Brockton. With 6.32 left in this second quarter, still 16 to 13. Quincy high. In the corner, inside. And Tannis is going to be called for the foul. And that's Tannis' first foul. And Quincy will be shooting from the free throw line. Second free throw attempt is good. Four point Brockton deficit. Tannis back to Elizabeth Williams. Alexander takes the three pointer. It's off the rim. And rebound Quincy. Here they come quickly. And this Quincy, Quincy team is pretty fast. Shot is missed. Alexandra has it. Inside to assist her. Little hook shot is no good. Rebound, no good. Jayla Williams, no good. And finally comes back out top. So good offensive boards by the boxers. They just couldn't finish the play. Nice underhand scoop shot for Alexandra Williams. Two point Quincy lead. Looks like the boxes are playing a 2-3 zone. And 
That was uh, Elizabeth Williams on the foul. So Quincy has a substitution. And the ball will be inbound by Quincy underneath the basket. Out top. They get it inside and another foul on Tannis. And that'll be her second. 5-0-2 left in this second quarter. And that's uh, Layla Lapina that comes in for Tannis. Layla Lapina is uh, a, a senior. In the corner. Quincy drives to the basket. Nice drive by number 23 for Quincy. 19 to 15. Williams in the paint, scoop shot, good. Alexandra Williams just drives right to the paint and gets the basket. Cuts the deficit down to two points, 19 to 17, Quincy. Inside, blocked. The Pina gets the steal. Nice defensive play. Couldn't see who it was who blocked the pass, which enabled the Pina to get it. And the Pina's going to be called for the foul. Stolen by Depina. Williams has the ball. She's going to drive to the basket. Wow. And they're going to call travel, and it was a travel. I thought there could have been a foul just a split second before the travel, but there's no call. There was some body contact. So Lorenzo comes in for the Williams sister. Elizabeth. Cross court pass. They go back and forth with it. Top of the key. There it is in the corner. Quincy drives, dishes it off, and is nicely blocked by Went. Jade Went with a nice defensive block. Inbound and underneath, right in the paint to the big man, and she gets the shot. Number 20 for Quincy. Lorenzo with the three pointer, no good. Scoop shot, no good. Williams tries to put up, and she's fouled. So nice offensive boards, but by the um, Lady Boxes. And Williams will go to the free throw line. Alexandra will go to the free throw line to shoot two. She makes her first free throw attempt. And she misses the second one, went. Oh, tries to get it. And it will be Brockton's ball because Lorenzo and one of the Quincy plays was going after it, but the Quincy player knocked it out of bounds. So the boxers will get another chance here with 3.01 left on the clock. We're in the second quarter. I'm Miles Jackson here at Staff Gymnasium. And this is BCA Sports.
shot is no good by Montero. And it'll be a foul. And they're gonna call that on Montero. That was a shooting foul, so the Quincy player will go to the free throw line. Shoot two. Second free throw attempt. Nice bounce pass. Montero get it back to Layla. Fox is working around. Williams drives. Shot is just missed. And it'll be Brockton's ball. You've got uh, Antoinette. Oko in there, number 14 for the boxes. And Alexandra Williams comes back in. Lorenzo, no good. Antoinette gets it, but she loses it. Should have just held on to it. Oh, nice shot, but it's missed. And the boxes, lady boxes come back. Williams drives, shot is missed. One minute, 37 seconds left in this second quarter. Boxes down by four points. Oh, nice drive there. By the big man for Quincy, number 20. They get it to Lorenzo. She's going to step back, take the shot, and it's an air ball. And the second quarter, Lorenzo just hasn't hit anything. She can hit that shot. She just hasn't hit it all in this second quarter. And she'll come out for uh, Jade Wint. Fox is down by six points with a minute and eight seconds and counting here in the second quarter. Long three is no good. Quincy comes out of there with the, with the rebound. Shot is no good. Antoinette can't hold on to the ball. And the boxers finally get a defensive rebound with 45 seconds on the clock. 24 on the uh, 30 second clock. Oko, good. Nice pass there by Alexandra Williams, and uh, Antoinette was ready for, the, for it. Put it nicely off the backboard. Cross court pass. 24 20. Quincy. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Foul there. As the big man for Quincy got a couple of rebounds, and she was fouled by L L Nalani Montero, number 11 for the boxes. Box, Lady Boxers ball, so with 8.5 seconds left on the clock. Here in the second quarter, 24-20, Quincy. Boxers have a chance to cut it to two or one, depending on what they hit. Antoinette takes the shot, air ball. 
time has run out here in the second quarter and the boxers are down 20-24. So very fast paced action in that first half. And we'll definitely be back for the second half action in a moment. We, we just finished, finished dinner, dinner and, and it was time, time for homework. homework. He I hates homework. homework. It makes no sense. I don't know how he finds anything in his backpack. I can't find my backpack. I couldn't even read his handwriting. Holding the pencil makes my hand hurt. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying try as hard a little as harder. I can. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. Go to understood.org, a free online resource with support and tools to help your child thrive. I've loved science since I was really, really little. I wanted to be a meteorologist, a doctor, a chemist. But now I found a new love for space science. I'm planning to be an astrophysicist. We were told that Ella wasn't talking much at school. Teachers would be like, we don't know if she's understanding us, she's not responding. Then the first grade teacher said that she had some decoding issues. That's being able to sound out words. She would understand the context of the story, but not necessarily each word. And she wasn't doing well in school because everybody else was really reading. She also felt like she wasn't so smart. She felt bad about herself. When people first say dyslexia, you think that you're like out of the regular group. But as you start realizing there's lots of people around who have dyslexia, they just don't always talk about it. I think that helped all of us to have some kind of name to put to what was, what was happening for her. I saw this YouTube video on how we should live on Venus instead of Mars. She's had a really blossoming year with her teacher, Liz Skelly. She's really helped her a lot. I'm actually freakishly scared of the ocean. People like, with I'm dyslexia not only have specific weaknesses, but we're finding have really unique and interesting strengths. Her nickname was First Lady of Physics. Because they have this different way of problem solving and thinking that actually, as adults, can often make them highly successful. The majority of the women, most of the men got the credit for their work. Ella has made years of growth in a very short amount of time. And part of that is because she's so interested in learning. She is so much more confident <laughs> because she's her biggest advocate. I'm always thinking about the future and how great it's going to be. Welcome, everybody, back to Brockton High Basketball. We're starting the third quarter here with the boxes down by four points against Quincy High. Boxes have the ball. Shot is no good by Williams. And back comes Quincy. When he takes a shot, air ball. I think somebody got a piece of that for the Lady Boxers, and here they come. Drives to the basket, throws up a shot, in and out. Tough break there. Down comes Quincy, the long pass. Shot is no good. Rebound Quincy. They get in the paint, and number 20, McMorrow is fouled. That was a nice pass. And she will go to the free throw line to try to get a three point play here, I believe. Yes, that was that two point play with two point shot was good, so she's gonna attempt the three pointer. And it's good. 
McMorrow with the three-point play, 20-27, Quincy. Boxers need to figure something out on the scoring end. Nice drive by Alexandra. She'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. First free throw attempt is good. And she makes both free throws. Five point deficit for the Lady Boxes. They get in the corner inside real quick and she is fouled. Grace Hobbin. Right in the paint, got the pass and put it right up and Jade went with the foul. And she makes her first free throw attempt. Went with the defensive board. Out to Williams. Williams. Scoop shot, no good. Comes out to Quincy. And the paint is good. Nice drive by Julian O'Toole. But Quincy and back quickly comes the Lady Boxes. And there's a foul. As Alexandra tried to get it into her sister Elizabeth and over the top. Comes one of the Quincy players. Outside. So Brockton will take it underneath, right to Tannis and partially blocked. Tries to get it up again and she's fouled. Nice effort by Tannis. And she did not give up on the play. First free throw attempt. Tannis makes her second free throw attempt. 30-24. Six point deficit for the boxes. 5.54 on the clock here in the third quarter. Shot is no good, rebound Williams. Back come the Lady Boxes. Williams drives to the basket, no call. There was some contact, but not enough, I guess, for the refs to, to blow their whistle. But it'll be Lady Boxes ball on the side. They get it to Alexandra, long three is no good. Williams in the paint, drives, shot is no good. In the paint, and they're gonna call a foul on, uh, who's that on, Elizabeth Williams. Paint shot, no good. Williams holds up and lets let her team get down. And miscommunication there. And there's a foul on Williams. So number 23, Julian O'Toole will go to the free throw line junior guard who's very quick with the basketball when she gets near the paint. No fear in driving to the basket. I don't know if you noticed, but Julian O'Toole who's shooting the free throws 
are wearing two different color sneakers, one white, one black. Free, second free throw attempt is good. Seven point Quincy Lee. Here in the middle of the third quarter. And not a good pass by Jade Went, but it was knocked out of bounds by Quincy, so Lady Boxes will keep the basketball. Outside, be ready. Talk breaks, watch your picks, watch your picks for 35, 35, 35. Lady Boxes have it out top. And Elizabeth is fouled in the paint. So she'll shoot two. Long three in and out. Offensive rebound is missed, and back come the Quincy High ladies. Rockland's having a tough time in his third quarter, putting points on the board. Three-pointer is good. Juliana Tracy with the shot. Box is down by nine. Top. Ooh, stolen by Williams. And she is fouled. There was contact. Whistle, whistle a little late, but nice job. Nice defense by uh, Alexandra. So she will go to the free throw line and shoot two. This is her second free throw attempt. Top of the key, long three. No good rebound by King. Kanari King, and it'll be box of ball. Lane gets it inside to Went, back outside to King. She takes the three, hits the backboard. Went, throws it up, just out, but she gets her own rebound. Went's going to take the three, good, but they're going to give it a two. Her foot was on the line, so she gets a two. 2.52 in this third quarter. Ooh, nice behind the back dribble. Long bomb is no good. O'Toole comes out of there with the rebound. Stolen by King. Can she retain it? And they're going to give it to Quincy. Back to Quincy. Nice effort by Kanari King. But it'll be Quincy's ball with 2.32 here in the third quarter. Boxes down by seven points. Tobin inbounds the ball again to O'Toole, who's really doing a fantastic job here in this second half for Quincy. 
Shot is no good. Williams gets the rebound, and here come the Lady Boxes. And Williams tries to get it into King, but it was blocked by Quincy's, but it'll still be um, Brockton's ball. King gets it out top, and she's going right to the hoop. No good. Boxes just can't buy a basket. They're getting good, pretty good shots. The ball just is just not falling. Stolen. Oh, bad pass. But Montero gets it. Gets it to King. King to Wint. Wint's going to take the three, and it's way off air ball. So Wint will come out for a rest, and Tannis will come in. Court with a three-point shot is no good. And it'll be a jump ball. Lady Box has had it, but they're kind of both fighting for it. And then the Quincy player got in there to get her hand on it, and it was a jump ball. Nice defense right there. And out of the pack comes Montero, and almost, well, stolen. Brockton's defense playing tough. And there's going to be a foul on the floor by number 22, Alexandra Williams. And DePina will come back in for uh, Austin. Oh, up the top. Ooh, nice drive to the basket, but she misses the shot. Lane is clear for Williams. Is she going to take it? No. Montero in the corner. Depina, no good, but she gets her own rebound. And Quincy comes out of there with it, and it'll be a travel. Stops and pops, no good. Tannis in it, battling, and jump ball. But I believe it'll be Brockton's ball on the possession. Nice effort by Tannis, and timeout, Lady Boxers with 16 seconds left on the clock here in the third quarter. Boxers still down by seven points. Boxes are going to have to figure something out here in the fourth quarter. We still got 16 seconds left in the third quarter, but the box is going to have to start making some shots. And they're going to have to cut down on the um, turnovers if they want to get back in this game and challenge the uh, Quincy High team here in this ball game. 
I'm Miles Jackson along, excuse me, I'm Miles Jackson by himself here at Staff Gymnasium. This is BCA Sports. As we're nearing March Madness and the playoffs for the high school girls and boys. I believe this might be the last game for the Lady Boxers of the regular season. Ooh. And they're gonna call a foul. So the Lady Boxers get a break right there. And Tannis will go to the free throw line because Quincy's, well, Brockton's in the bonus. So McMorrow will come out for um, Quincy. And she makes her first free throw attempt. Second free throw attempt box is down by five. And that's it for the third quarter. Boxes have got it back down to five points here going into the fourth quarter. And again, boxes have to cut down in the fourth quarter, have to cut down on those turnovers. Too many turnovers so far in this game for the boxes. And they've missed a number of shots. They've gotten off a number of shots, but the second half, they just can't seem to buy a shot. So they're going to have to figure that out. So Quincy will take it out. Eight minutes in this fourth quarter. King guarding O'Toole. Fernandez, good defense. And Williams comes out of there with the defensive rebound. to Fernandez, back to Williams. And over to Fernandez, nice pass, but she couldn't finish the shot. Fernandez should have made that. She put it right off the backboard, but she was a little short. Long bomb is in and out. Fernandez gets out of there with Went. Went to King. Shooting. Outside, outside. King back to Went, Went's inside. And there's going to be jump ball. So good defense by uh, Quincy. And Brockton will take it out from underneath. Alexandra will take it out. Oh. Smart play. It just didn't quite finish it. Referee said that uh, Williams was uh, out of bounds when she re retrieved it, but I like that play. Here comes O'Toole, great ball handler. Dishes it out top. Oh, that was a nice drive. Priscilla Bonanica with the shot. Used the backboard nicely. 6.40 on the clock, 36-29, Quincy high up. And not a good pass, but Wentz right there for the block, and it's good. Brockton caught a break right there, 36-31. And that should have been a uh, travel, but no call. 
Quincy with the ball with 18 seconds on the shot clock. Drive to the basket, and it's good. Foul on Jayla Smith. And a little mismatch right there. And number 25, Juliana Tracy, took advantage of the mismatch and went straight to the hoop and got the two chance for a three-point play right here with 6.15 on the clock. And it's in and out. Wade, I mean, excuse me, went with the rebound. King is out top. Went to Williams. Shooting, shooting. Shot put up, no good. Her own rebound, no good. Williams inside, puts it up in there. Great effort by the Lady Boxers right there, fighting until they finally got the two. 38-33, and the boxes trap, use the trap defense, and it'll be uh, a timeout, actually a timeout, timeout called by the uh, Quincy High coach. So timeout with 5.54, 5.45 left on the clock. 33-38 boxes, and that's what they're gonna have to do. They have to put some serious defense when um, when Quincy brings the ball down right there, the trap worked, and uh, Quincy's coach had to call a foul, uh, had to call a timeout, and saw that his uh, ball player was in trouble. And we're out here at Staff Gymnasium on uh, winter break, actually February vacation. So it'll be Quincy's ball. And Williams was a little confused there. Alexandra. And here comes O'Toole. And she is fouled. They got the ball to the right person, Julian, Julian, Julian O'Toole. A junior guard will go to the free throw line as they're in the bonus. And Julian makes her first free throw. This will be Jillian O'Toole. Goes off, went with the rebound. Here comes King. Spiker, spiker, spiker. With Fernandez throws a shot up, missed. And Quincy comes out of there with the ball. A touchdown pass. And went foul, number 25, Juliana Tracy. And that was a good foul. And she will have to earn it at the free throw line. Tracy, a junior. And this Quincy High team of good free throw shooters. And Went and Fernandez will come out and get a rest. She makes her second free throw attempt. Back come the Lady Boxes. They need to get something going real soon. Out to Antoinette. Kane with the ball. Long bomb. Air ball. A little bit too far out there. And Grace Hobbin is fouled by the Williams sister. So she will go to the free throw line. 
And this is not exactly what, what the Lady Boxers wanted to do here in the fourth quarter, is give free shots at the free throw line to this very good free throw shooting Quincy High team. Forty-two, thirty-three. Free throw is missed and it's out on Elizabeth Williams. So Quincy will keep the basketball. Fresh thirty-second clock with four twenty-five on the on the um, scoreboard. Drives to the basket, but they're gonna call it travel. It was a nice move, but you saw the travel. Tough break for the Lady Boxes. And they're gonna call it on uh, Jayla Smith. I think that's Jayla's third foul, possibly her third foul.
point two tenths of a second left on the clock. That's, that's a tall order to fill for the Lady Boxers here at uh, Staff Gymnasium. So let's, let's see if uh, Quincy can miss this second free throw attempt. And uh, we, could, we have to see what the boxers can do. But if they miss it, if she misses the free throw attempt, that means the ball is live. And there's not much you can do if you get the defensive rebound with two tenths of a second left. All you can do, basically, if you get the rebound, if the lady boxers get the rebound on the miss, all they can do is take it and just heave it back down to their own basket. That's about all they can do. So here we go. In and out. And went. Tried, but to no avail. So Lady Boxes. Uh, beaten on their home court, I believe the last regular season game for them against a very quick and very talented Quincy High team. So there you have it, folks. Lady Boxes, I believe, are going to the playoffs, but they come out of here with a loss. And there you have it. I'm Miles Jackson here at BCA Sports bring you another good game here at Staff Gymnasium. Until next time, until the playoffs, we'll see everybody then.